Okay, so the new Microsoft Surface Go uh, is coming out on August the 2nd. You might have already pre-ordered one. Uh, it does look like a nice device. I like, I like seeing that flip stand on there, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, now, I've owned a Windows 10 device. Well, it started off with Windows 8 uh, as a tablet for, well, since October 2015. So, what, two and a half years or so. Um, and overall, uh, well, this particular device, Dual Boots, it's Android and Windows. Um, and I, I suppose a lot of the time I ended up using Android just because Android is more of a touch operating system, whereas I think Windows 10 is a good operating system, uh, especially if you've got an SSD drive. Uh, but uh, on a tablet, I think it leaves a lot to be desired. Now that hopefully will be sorted out. Maybe Windows 10s will be more touch oriented. Uh, but when you see, uh, this is Windows 10 Home on this tablet. So everything is incredibly small in here and it probably looks even smaller on the screen for you. But trying to touch some of these, you can very easily press the wrong thing. So the one app that I would say for the Surface Go, if it's available on the Windows 10 store, if not, you might be able to, I don't know if side loading is a thing on Windows 10 S, otherwise uh, you'd be using the the full version of Windows 10 Home, which is, as I say, you can freely upgrade to. So if I touch this mouse pointer down the bottom here, straight away we get a mouse control. So now what I can do is I can move around, and at the bottom I've got left click, and at the top I've got right click. Uh, so if I want to do things like large icons, extra large icons, uh, change the sorting, all of that sort of thing, it's much, much easier because you've got this mouse control. Uh, and also things like right click. So if I want to right click on the desktop, as you can see, you get the menu. And this is incredibly small, uh, probably be smaller because of the higher resolution on the uh, on the Surface Go, I keep forgetting the name of it, um, but uh, but yeah, if you install this, it really makes a big difference. Yes, it eats up some of your screen size, uh, but it does mean that orientation is much, much easier. Now this device is uh, a 32 gig device, but 16 gig is for Windows and 16 gig is for Android. Uh, and I've had a lot of problems over the years upgrading uh, the version of software on it. And because it's a Chinese version, if I do a complete clean install, and I'm always really careful on that because it's a dual boot system, uh, it always comes back in Chinese, so it's a bit of a pain. Um, but this last time, it did ask for a removable device. It hasn't managed to do the last update, um, but I'm going to try and delete a few apps and then try with an external storage. But at least that side tends to be getting better. But I would still worry a little bit about the 64 gig one. Um, and the 64 gig one is also an EMC drive, which is a slow drive. Um, they, uh, they certainly aren't as fast as an SSD, and SSDs really transform Windows computers. But Windows 10 S might not need this because it's a lighter operating system, so more like Android or more like iOS is uh, on an iPad. Um, but my also, I have an alternative if you, think, if you haven't ordered it yet. This computer uses, uh, has very similar specs, uh, and if I switch it on, uh, very similar specs to the entry-level Surface Go. Uh, but it's double the hard disk size, it's a solid state drive instead of an EMMC drive, same amount of RAM, um, but it also has the, uh, the less throttled uh, processor because this is running the 4415U, which I believe is about 2.3 gigahertz, whereas the 4415Y, uh, which is the one that comes in the Surface Go, which is the one that doesn't need any uh, fan to cool it down. Um, so it's it's some sort of passively cooled system uh, and obviously that lends itself more to a tablet. Uh, but you can see this computer starting up pretty quick. Um, what have we got on here? Come on England, I don't know what that's all about. Something my daughter was searching for. Um, but as a device, um, this is actually really fast and will be faster than a Surface Go because it's got a higher clock speed um, and it's also running an SSD and these can be got for around about £300 um, sometimes 350 sometimes 300 I'll put a link in the description um, but uh, so take it 300 that this has been this device uh, was £67 in uh, 2015 October 2015 I'm sure there's other devices like it so if you want a Windows tablet uh, you can get a Windows tablet that, that runs full Windows for very little, uh, but you can also have uh, a laptop computer with a bigger screen um, and a bigger touchpad and a, and a better keyboard. So 
who's to know? I mean, it, obviously, there's there's loads of reasons that people want particular computers and things like that. And and the Surface Go does look like a very nice piece of hardware. Um, and uh, really, this was more to show you about that touch mouse pointer because I think touch mouse pointer is a brilliant um, piece of kit. It really works well. It's really controllable. Um, and uh, and it meant that some things that were unusable on Windows 10 on such a small device became perfectly usable. Um, and this outputs to TV via HDMI. You can plug in a mouse and keyboard and all of that. Um, so so yeah, that's that's my take on it. Anyway, yeah, uh, really like to know what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, and also, if you manage to install Touch Mouse Pointer on a Surface Go and how much it changes the experience to you. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.